hey guys welcome back to today's video i hope you're all doing so well thank you for clicking in case you're just doing that for the very first my name is nancy thank you for being here i so much appreciate you watching this video so yeah on this channel we talk about the things of god so i share with you guys what um what has been happening with me how my life has transformed still in that process of transformation ever since um last year december that i decided to answer the call of god in my life so i couldn't run anymore i was tired of running you know i'll run at the same time at the end of the day it's just i was tired of running so yeah i just like okay here i am holy spirit here i am lord what do you want from me <laughs> So I'm just here to like encourage us in the things of God. We share the word of God practically. That is what I do here. In case you want to see more of this video, come follow me on um, Facebook because I do go live sometimes. I do I do post a lot of video on Facebook. And um, every Friday we do have our prayer night every Friday by 10 40 45 to 12 midnight. So God has been amazing, God has been faithful. Um so yeah. I just really want to like share some things with you guys in case you are like me, you are out there, you are really afraid if you go to like, you know, listen to the voice of God, you know, hold on to that thing that he has put in your heart. So I just want to like talk to somebody out there using my own kind of experience, you know, what I have been passing through to kind of like help encourage you that is watching me today. Because sometimes I believe that we fear a lot. One thing that always kept us bound as a believer, as a child of God, is the spirit of fear. And the word of God said, God has not given us the spirit of, the spirit of fear, but the spirit of sound mind. So because when you are afraid of something, that is where the devil will kind of like help kind of hold you bound because you just it just kind of like create a limit for you. You can't really break out of that circle because of that fear. And what I experience in my life is that um, a lot of people are like me out there we fear thing we fear the fear of the unknown you know we just have fear of something that we can't really figure out something that we don't really know how it's gonna end something that we don't really know what it's gonna be like we just you know we have something in our hand but we don't really know how far that thing is gonna go so that thing kind of creates fear in us and when that fear is there it just really kind of like block you you won't want to like do that thing or do more because you have this fear in your heart you don't really know what it's going to be like so this is me <laughs> so this is me i have been having this fear in my heart for so long i've been having this fear in my mind having all the revelation that i normally have that i had you know seeing the things of course seeing you know i will share the, this revelation with you guys one of these days but the fear in my heart is that okay like lord what do you want from me you know, I have this fear in my heart. How am I going to work with you? How, how, how is it going to be possible? I have so much doubt, so much fear, things that are just kind of like blocking me that, that I don't really want to like see things in a different way. So if I were to like look back now, I would just tell myself that I was just giving silly excuse. I was just being silly because I, one thing that I, I noticed is that if God has placed something in your heart, when God wants to speak through you, wants to use you, you are just the vessel. You are just like, you are the one representing, he's just using you. He's the one that's going to do everything, but through you. So you don't do anything on your own, but it's him that's just going to work through you. So my fear has been, okay, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? Is it, is it going to be possible? It's not going to be possible. All this doubt, fear, and everything. Not knowing that God has a better plan, God that has put the plan, the vision in my head or in my hands, he knows how he's going to like make it come to pass, make it come into manifestation. But I was just there trying to figure it out, trying to process the whole thing. If you can figure out a plan that God has given to you, trust me, I don't think that that is not God. If God has put something in your heart to do, when it comes to things of working with him, you can't really figure it out. That is why he is there. That is why he is behind you. That is why he is the one using you. He is the one that is going to help you figure things out, put things in places. You are just there, you know, because I remember my story just kind of helped make me remember the, the story of Moses. God was speaking to Moses, you know, telling him to go and save the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. You know, Moses gave a, a lot of excuses. There were excuses. Moses has a lot of reasons for God to see reasons with him, whereby 
you know, him declare himself as the wrong person, that he's not the right person, you know, God has to say the reason that he is not capable. Meanwhile, you're telling your father the reason whereby you can't do things that he, is, he sent you to go and do. He sent you to go and do that. And he is the one that is going to like make those things come into manifestation. You know, Moses gave a lot of excuse whereby he can't go to the land of uh, of Egypt to send, use Moses and Aaron to set the children of Israel out of, out of the land of Egypt. You know, that is just, sometimes we give so much excuse when it comes to the things of God because we can't really figure it out. That is why we give so much excuse. We have that fear in our mind. How is it going to be possible? What am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Is it going to come to pass? You worry for nothing. I worry. I was worried for nothing. For nothing. I am so grateful to God for this day in my life, the day that I decided to say, enough is enough, I'm tired of running, here I am now, Lord, send me. So I'm so grateful to God for, you know, for 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 all it, for everything that he has been doing in my life. Only say nothing but the hand of God upon my life, upon the things that I have been doing all this month. So all the glory must be given unto him. So I just want to like encourage you out there, if you're having the things of God in your mind, or if you want to like accept Christ, in your life don't be afraid don't be afraid to know where you belong don't be afraid to know what which kind of life you want for yourself don't be afraid to do the things of your father which is in heaven when you have those doubts being afraid in your heart you're know, trying to create a lot of excuse in for yourself these are not the things of God these are just excuses that Satan is putting in your heart to to help you kind of lure you out of the things of God because Satan knows that the day he will leave you alone, the day that he will set you free and you will accept the call of God in your life, he is in trouble. His kingdom is in trouble. You become a threat to him. You become that one person that he cannot just stand. So because he doesn't want to take that chances, that is why he will try his best to kind of like hold you bound, make you not to accept your calling, make you not to do the things of God, make you not to accept Christ in, in your life as you know that person and Savior because he wants to have charge over you, because he wants to be able to manipulate you, because he know that if he allow you to seek the things of God, to follow God, do the things of your Father which is in heaven, he alone is not only in trouble, everything around him, his kingdom is in trouble because he become a threat. You become that person that God is going to use to set free thousands or millions of people that he has held back and this is something that he doesn't want to take the chances if god is putting it in your heart come seek my face come follow me i'm talking to you god is speaking to you you don't want to listen don't be afraid if he called you if he has put it in your heart you are not the one that is going to make it come to pass you are not the one that is going to accomplish the mission because by strength shall no man prevail we do all things through Christ that strengthens us. There is nothing we can do for ourselves. It's the power of God that is flowing through us, that he has put it in us. That is how we get a lot of things done. It's not by your power. So we should let that spirit of fear go away. Because the spirit of fear, it can never be of the Lord. The spirit of fear is of the devil. Let it go. Set yourself free. Accept that thing that God has been telling you. Accept that thing that God has been putting in your heart. Look back and say, God, I want to walk with you in spirit and in truth. And he will equip you for everything that you need. We need for us to live a righteous life. So like walk in holiness. This is something that I have, you know, I have, you know, I have come to realize. So give your ear to the Lord. Let him speak to you. That thing that he has already put in your heart that you have fear, you have anxiety, you are so worried, you don't know how, what you're going to do. You feel that, you know, forfeiting a lot of things in your, in your life now is just too much for you to give your, your time to God. Trust me, God will not call you and at the same time, he will, in his faithfulness, he will not make provisions on how you're going to live your life here on the earth and how you're going to walk with him in spirit and in truth. That is just one thing that I've got, I've, I've, I've got to, I've come to realize. So I just want to like encourage my brothers or sisters out there. If God is putting something in your heart, or if God has already put something in your heart, you don't know what to do, just keep praying. Just keep, keep praying for the, that spirit of fear, that spirit of fear in your heart that is holding you bound for God to like set you free. Because when you are free from that spirit of fear, you begin to walk with boldness because you know who got your back, because you know who has called you, because you know who you are working for. You know, because you know that things that you're going to do in this kingdom, they are not, go they are not going to be of your own power. 
begin to walk in the strength of heaven. They begin to walk in God's grace. I just want to encourage you. I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please subscribe to this channel and follow me for more videos like this. I'm going to be bringing out videos like this every single week. Don't miss out. If you want to like get more, come follow me on Facebook. I always go live. I always drop videos there one, two times a week. Every Friday, I always go live for our evening prayers since um, January now. So God has been very faithful. God has been so good. And sometimes I don't bring some guests, you know, on the life for us to you know study together and learn from each other so yeah it's not just all about me coming and talking i still do bring people we get like share the screen and talk together and do the things of god why if you have questions you can as well throw in your question and ask god has been amazing i must tell you thank you so much guys for watching. don't forget to follow for more content like this thank you so much and see you all in my next one